your ambition is like what you kind of project on your imagined plane is, is ambition, yeah, what your ambitions are. So are you ambitious? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say that I'm ambitious, but I think that I'm like quite quiet and determined in my like ambition style. A, to kind of like come out to myself about wanting to do something or wanting to um, actualise a dream or like vision that is like only existing on like the imaginative plane and then to kind of try and figure out how to navigate doing that, it can feel quite fragile. So I feel like I can get quite easily deterred if I if I share or express my ambitions like in the wrong place or like um, yeah so I just think I rather I would rather just get on with it which also might be like an upbringing thing as well. Do you think that you approach it in that way partly because you're raised in Aotearoa and that's yes. something that yes. that society kind of I think there is a direct correlation and I think that like um I think that like yeah the question around like humility and what that what are the characteristics of um, humility um, and then I also think like I'm quite an earnest person like it's taken me it's so uncool to be earnest you know I don't want to be earnest I want to be like I don't know frivolous and like <laughs> like um, whatever but maybe you can be frivolous and earnest I don't know um, Anyhow, so I think it's probably a combination of like being quite an innately earnest person um, and then also uh, I do think it's a direct correlation to, <clears throat> to a New Zealand sensibility and to a Māori sensibility and like um, models of leadership that, um, I don't know, like just thinking of my dad like as someone, he was really about um, like leading from behind people. Or Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Maybe I have a friend who like has had to, a friend of mine who came here to the US with me who like has really like overcome a great deal, you know, like really overcome um, like enormous amounts of like trauma um, ingrained narratives of like uh, inadequacy um, a sense of disenfranchisement um, a, and a real like yeah it's just had to overcome like a lot of shit and then I think like they're a really phenomenal artist and they take like great care of um, their collaborators and they take great care of themselves and from the point of view that they look after their physicality and eat well and support people in their community directly. Um, they're the person who I identify um, who has like really navigated a way of like living close as close as possible to their values despite um, challenges or um, or personal beliefs or you know that kind of immaterial but like um, really strongly felt vibe from an environment or from a context. I feel like my stepmom is pretty ambitious. Yeah. Like she Emotion, you know, like like a propeller moving people. Yeah. So they're two different styles, but I think that my stepmom was also had to overcome heaps. You know, like she moved to Aotearoa when she was really young with her boyfriend at the time, and like from UK Massive, and then like she, um, yeah, and then she, when she was like alongside my dad when he pieced out. You know, and then like has just been an amazing mum to my younger siblings, and she's always just totally opened her heart for me and my older brothers. 
you know, what she didn't have to do, like, especially after our dad died. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Mm. Yeah, I think, like, I would love, I think mentors are, like, really important and in real time, like, coming together in actual life, like, not, not just via the internet is always, like, massive for me, eh? Um, and then I think, like, yeah, like in my field, you know, like storytelling, um, whether it be through performance or like um, other other forms, uh, like cinema or like um, comics, writing. Um, <laughs> Love the main. I know, right? Yeah. I reckon, like, yeah, mentors are amazing and resources, like, just straight up resource. And, like, I think that that also comes back to New Zealand and, like, potentially, I don't know, like, so I have, like, all sorts of little um, philosophies eh, that are not based on, like, any jacked up research. But I don't know, like, I just think that I don't understand why our, why our country like generally speaking doesn't doesn't perceive or value artistry or the creative arts as like um, yeah as something that is like just as significant or just as important as sports you know which really feels like it's been like embraced by or loved by the people not all people necessarily but when I think about like that um, archetypal like Kiwi or whatever um, sport is like definitely a big component of that and like artfulness or having a relationship to an artistry or um, engaging with art like is not really uh, part of that equation generally I'm generalizing mm -hmm. but I reckon like yeah so res resources I think are useful from the point of view that they like obviously enable people to make what they want to make and I don't think that there's anything that give someone more self more self esteem than realizing their visions, realizing their ambitions, which innately leads to more co confidence. And I think that my dream or aspiration in the long term is to support other people and to make to help other people to realize their uh, visions or like execute um, the works of theatre or the works of cinema that they want to make. Um, but I also feel like I kind of want to make some myself first <laughs> so that I'm not just like a hack artist who, yeah, is just like talking the talk and I'm just not quite sure, to be really honest with you, like how to how to go about that from from where I, where I am at this stage. Like even though I feel super, super grateful to have had like opportunities, A, for employment, which is like from a class point of view, like really nice to actually like be employed and be able to like live in a flat if I want to rather than just like crashing with my mom until I'm like 35 you know um like so yeah being employed is one thing and then it's also something around um being able to um take that a step further and then have the knowledge about like being autonomous being a self-starter cultivating um a better understanding of how to yeah like execute or translate um, ideas like I really want to make like a an interdisciplinary publishing house like to support like young women or young indigenous people not necessarily women specifically um, to be able to tell stories like at a really high level and to be able to like reach audience but I feel like shit it's a pipe dream right now you know it's like a hologram <laughs> um, so I'm just thinking around how to gently go through the motions of like forging in a sustainable way also so that I don't like peace out when I'm 60 like my dad did, you know. So, so those are the forces and like I think it would be just unlucky to be held by, um, by like amazing artists and 
theatre makers and directors like Oti, like Jackie, Jackie Van Beek, like Madeline Sami, like Eleanor Bishop, who I was talking to about earlier, you know, like Aaron Cordesy, Joe Randerson, like, who have, like, really supported Coco Solid, Tupi, like, supported and encouraged me. So maybe actually, maybe it's actually not about mentors now. I want to redact that. Maybe it's more about just, like, um, resource and just practice to, to execute and become more confident. Yeah, fortify a bit more self-esteem, I think, would help me to be a bit more ambitious. Yeah, getting there slowly. Oh, yeah.